Hey, good day everyone. Thanks for coming along here. We're going to do a little technical walkthrough on this 2008 Country Coach Intrigue with the pop-up TV here in the uh, A slide slash uh, driver side. So we're going to start over here at the AV cabinet. It's going to come in across and behind this panel here. And then uh, you can pop out like this controller here or this panel. Get in behind here. Tip these map boxes out, then run that HDMI cable all the way around here. And then take this false panel out back here, and that's going to get you up in here to this corner where you pop out there and it comes in and you follow the E chain, as we call it. It's a track here that folds up kind of like a bicycle chain or a big chain. Come across into here, zip tie it to the side of this existing one, and then make your way into there. Make sure you get this all zip tied off to the side here so none of the slide room hardware will catch it. Run down in behind the cabinet, and then down here into this corner. Now that's where it gets a little tricky, is you try to get down this wall because there's no chase or anything here. So this square box tubing that that goes into runs all the way to the outboard edge of the wall. It's basically the bottom track. So what I do is in the back of this cabinet here, drill a hole and into that box tubing. And then you can run it through that box tube and then pop out. And so then that puts you in back to the back of that cabinet. And then you're gonna run across the floor up in through that E chain and then across and then up to here. And then we come up through the back hole here and then into the back of the TV. Plug those in and a small zip tie here on this bracket. This is the factory pieces of aluminum to run across the back. And so those get secured here and here to support the TV. So I'll kind of give you a little closer video with this all wrapped up. All right, hey everybody. Um, it's uh, the next day to when I started this video. I got pulled off, ended up having to do a few different things. But anyway, what we've got now is the TV's all hooked up. I've got it doing local channels. When I had the bay doors open, I had those. I've got the black um, curtain that goes up and down with the TV back installed. To get that off, <clears throat> you actually take these doors, lift them up, and then there's screws in these corners that you can get to once the TV's part way down. And that's how you get that off to be able to get the access in there. And we got that all put back together in this and the column. This column is actually just Velcroed onto here. So you just kind of pull it off and then uh, you just kind of beat on the corners and then that pops it back on. Matte boxes are all installed. They still have this torn apart because I was doing a satellite installation also. So I had to put all my power supplies and stuff inside of there <clears throat> got those all in there and then i came over to here to this side and after i had those cables over here it was such a mess of old component video i came in tore everything out of it that was component video took all the component videos wrapped them up there on the very top corner left all the ends on in case somebody wanted to use them for some analog thing or so on and so forth and then i uh got these here I will end up marking those is going to be your HDMI that goes around to the TV, your satellite signal in, and then your satellite controller. And then I'll mount the power supply for the satellite controller back there in the back and get those installed. And I'll get the slid back in. But I wanted to show you with this all pulled out. So it's on drawer rails. So you can pull it out pretty far. And then we've got this rack. And we have a couple of these floating around different heights. So that way, depending on how high the cabinet is, the magna affinity are a little different than the intrigue allure and the intrigue allure are a little different than each other. So we've got a couple of these makeshift stands. You slide the seat all the way forward and then you can pull this equipment out of here, put it on and swing it out to the rearward end and actually get to all your terminals and everything. So that's pretty much the way we used to do them in the factory. This was actually my first job I had had when I came back to work here in 2005. They hired me to just put this stuff in and then do troubleshooting throughout the rest of the day. I would go to the stock room, get all these parts, put them in the rack. Another guy would prep all this. I'd wire it all up, make sure it was good, shove it in the hole, and then spend the rest of my time working off quality control lists. But 
that would be everything pretty much on here so we got that hdmi oh and that optical that i ran around i've got going into the digital tv input here and then you'll leave this receiver on the same input all the time whenever you're watching tv and over here in this cabinet previously there was a blu-ray player under here that's piped into the tv also so that way they'll just put their blu-rays in there and then this will be the receiver at one point they can always upgrade this receiver to an hdmi switcher or put an hdmi switcher in here and put all the equipment back in this cabinet but for now that's the way this one's gonna work i'll make a new plastic trim ring and get that all done and we'll deliver this coach tomorrow i hope uh, that was educational for you and i hope you're all enjoying these videos i'm gonna do uh more coach walkthroughs technical stuff my own coach maybe even take you to the motocross track and let you get a little high insight on kind of what we do on the weekends if i'm not running my own or i'm out uh racing myself I want to thank everybody again for watching. Please subscribe, hit that notification button, and just I hope you all have a great day. Thanks again. Bye-bye now.